happy morning, Miss Horizon Chaser. Uh, ngayon, we are celebrating the Philippine Space Week. Ito yung kauna-unahang uh, celebration. It starts August 8 until August 14. Uh, we are highlighting yung contributions ng mga Pinoy sa larangan ng space, science, and technology applications. Ngayong umaga, nakita natin yung iba't ibang mga agreements no, na um, nalagdaan upang mapalakas at ma-strengthen yung ating partnership with various government agencies. So, gusto natin gamitin ang space technology for good governance. So, yun po. Sa, uh, samahan niyo po kami sa celebration natin. Alright. Ma'am, uh, karagdagan lang po. May aasahan pa po tayo ba dito sa ating uh, ahensya ng ating gobyerno sa PILSA? Ano po yung next na maaasahan pa po natin? Bakit, sir? Bakit siya lang? Okay. <laughs> um, karagdagan so, lang. Okay. Uh, in the near term, no? Uh, Siyempre, patuloy yung ating uh, capacity building. Uh, naniniwala kami na para mas maging maundad yung ating space technology, kailangan natin bumuo ng tinatawag nating space ecosystem. Yung space ecosystem, hindi lamang yung Philippine Space Agency ang nandun. Uh, naroon din ang ating mga academic institutions, other government agencies, at pati na yung private sectors. So, gusto natin mag-build ng capability across all players of the space ecosystem. So, patuloy po yan. Meron po tayong mga training um, from upstream, no, yung satellite development to downstream, yung paggamit ng data. Narinig din po natin kanina, uh, patuloy po yung ating satellite development. Meron tayong, uh, yung susunod sa ating uh, mga nauna ng satellite, di Wada 1, di Wada 2 at Maya, uh, susundan natin to nung mula uh, satellite na narinig na natin from DBM uh, uh, UC sa sa kanina na yun yung pinigyan nila ng suporta ah, para mapagpatuloy yung pag-develop nitong satellite na ito. At uh, siguro yun. Yun na. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much po and congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning po ulit. Um, Magaman ang tema po natin ay yamang kalawakan tungo sa maunlad na kinabukasan. So nakatutok po ito sa linda na may pa po um, or sa ating bansa. And gusto ko lang po talaga na makarinig sa inyo kung papaano ma-inspire ng gusto itong ating mga susunod na generasyon dahil maunlad nga po sa kinabukasan, di ba po? So, yung talagang maikita sa isipan ng ating mga next generation, kung gaano itong kahalaga, itong uh, event na ito, itong programang inilunsan po ninyo, nasa simpleng salita para sa mga ordinaryo pang mga kabataan natin, yung mga susunod po na generasyon. Kasi tayo-tayo, naiintindihan po natin ang gusto. Pero kapag inilabas po namin po sa media, yung mga simpleng salita na maikintal sa kanilang kaisipan, yung para sa kinabukasan, itong uh, yamang kalawakan natin na inilunsan po ninyo. Uh, para po sa kay segment, Minda, and dito po sa Pilsa, and kung meron po sa inyo, sa inyo kung sino magbigay ng nakaka-inspire po na salita. Uh, maybe just one thing, and uh, that's what we have seen so far this morning. We are yet to utilize and maximize the benefit of space. The applications in our country is tremendous. And so uh, what we are really looking forward to is seeing space technology and data its application assisting or aiding in decision making uh, in policy uh, recommendations and uh, there's a lot to contribute to that. serving all right maraming maraming salamat po part of history as we all celebrate together our country's first philippines world truly the philippines has become a space capable nation but what does it mean to us this means a lot of things and I would like to highlight today, and what I would like to highlight today is how space helps us in our decision making, particularly in science-based decision making, as an ordinary citizen, as a policymaker, or even as a leader. For example, during disasters, space and prioritized space areas for assistance, especially as we know our country uh, experiencing on the average about 25 moons each year. 
We have been past three days from all the lots of rain and heavy flooding. So add to that, we are yet to experience uh, the full effects of El Nino. Uh, we know we are under El Nino now. That is predicted to get stronger in the coming months. Therefore, we equip ourselves with the tools to address this vulnerability and to help us adapt in the changing climate. This morning, data can be used in monitoring government projects, in assist in applications to fisheries and environment protection, and in general, in promoting peace and economic development. A healthy space ecosystem largely depends on this. Our access to data, our capable insights so we can realize its economic benefits. This also means that a healthy space ecosystem is composed of integrated systems and stakeholders in space. Building a space-capable nation entails to strengthen this growing ecosystem. And today marks that strong collaboration and shows how different partners play key roles in contributing to its growth. Our hearts are full hearing the messages of support uh, from our partners. And it's really a delight to see everyone here after months of discussions and uh, preparations to make this landmark agreement. I therefore thank everyone here for your trust and contributions and to everyone else who is part of nurturing our space ecosystem. Magbuhay tayong lahat at sama-sama nating itaguyon ang yamang kalawakan tungo sa maundan na kinabukasan. Thank you and once again, have a pleasant morning. Thank you, Dr. for that message. And thank you to everyone watch event. Um, thank you very much. At salamat po sa sama-samang paggamit ng yamang halawakan tungo sa kaundaran. This has been Kazaya from SM Floyd. And this has been Joe from the Public Relations team. Now, we invite you to take your lunch. <laughs>